Hi, my name is Celia Saracino, C-E-L-I-A-S-A-R-A-C-I-N-O. Here's my Seneca One card. And my 360 scan. All right, so 17-year-old came in with a pulse rate of 115, which is tachycardic, a respiratory rate of 22, which is tachypneic, and a uh, fever of 103.5. Patient's blood pressure within, the, within divine limits. Um, alongside with these vital signs, I would also check the patient's oxygen saturation, as well as the patient's blood sugar, as the patient is a type 1 diabetic. Now, Adam, have you been having a headache? Uh, yes, my neck is really stiff. Any seizures? No. Any tremors? No. Any weakness? No. Uh, difficulty swallowing or speaking? No. Um, any dizziness or vertigo? Uh, I am dizzy and it's making me nauseous. Okay, any uh, numbness or tingling? No. No? Any um, head injury recently? No. Shortness of breath? No. Cough? Uh, I do have a cough, but it's not too bad. Okay, is it productive or non-productive? Non-productive. Okay, um, and any pain when breathing? Uh, no, but there is a pain in my chest. Okay, and, um, and are you on any medication? Insulin. Okay, um, do you have any allergies? Penicillin. Okay, and talking about your pain, um, how long has this been going on for? For about a day, but today's worse, the worst of it. Okay, are there any provoking factors, like things that are make it worse? Uh, movement and bright lights. Okay, and in terms of palliative pain, does it uh, disrupt your life in any way? Uh, just falling asleep. Okay, okay. quality of pain? Uh, I'd say it's like a throbbing pain. Okay, and what uh, region is it typically in? Just like in all over the head. Okay, and uh, does it radiate anywhere? Uh, no. But I just feel very fatigued, tired, and dizzy. Okay, and on a scale of 1 to 10, 0 being no pain and 10 being the worst, what would you rate it? About an 8 out of 10. Okay, and um, have you been taking any medications to relieve it? Just Tylenol and Advil, but it hasn't really helped. Okay, and a time of day, does depending on the time of day, does it make it worse or better? Uh, it's just pain all the time. Okay, and do you know why this is possibly going on? No. No? Okay. So I'm just going to do a physical assessment. You can put that down for me. Um, I'm just going to get you to smile for me, purse your lips, perfect, no paralysis noticed, uh, no cyanosis noted, I'm just going to check your capillary refill, equal or less than 3 seconds, perfect, can you stand up for me please, okay, and can you walk back and forth, gait is normal, muscle mass is normal, um, I do notice some weakness while he was standing up, can you turn your head from left to right for me, okay, some rigidity in his neck, I also am noticing that his respiration rates are quite uh, rapid and shallow, um, he, I also indicate that he is in respiratory distress and he is using his accessory muscles such as his pectoralis muscles and his sternocleidomastoid muscles um, while breathing. So now I am just going to ask you three questions. Can you tell me where we are? Uh, Seneca Hospital. Perfect. And your name? Adam Sersen. And your year and the year it is? 2023. Perfect. And he has a GCS of 15. Um, he is alert. He's opened his eyes um, spontaneously and he obeys commands. Um, can you grab both my hands for me please? Squeeze, perfect, swing your legs across for me. Push against my hands, perfect. Swing your legs across, lift your legs up and down, arms up and down, perfect. Um, now I'm just gonna do your eye assessment, just gonna turn on my flashlight here. All right, so his pupils are present, they're round. Let's see if they're reactive, perfect. And I am noticing a sensitivity to light, okay. And let's see if they're accommodating, follow my finger, don't move your head. Perfect, and they are accommodating. Now I'm just gonna have a listen to your chest. All right, so let's do the seven up at the top. <laughs> okay, the seven, now you're gonna turn and face that way and I'm gonna do the anterior. One. Okay, and I'm just gonna ch check to see if your chest expansion is equal. Breathe in, perfect, and out, perfect. They are equal, I've just noticed some wheezing in, um, in your chest upon inhalation. Um, so now, um, patient came in, tachycardic, tachypneic, and um, a fever of 103.5. Upon the patient's report towards me, he is saying that he is um, nauseous, um, his, has some rigidity, and a pain of an eight out of 10 in his head. Um, upon um, assessing the patient, I have noticed that yes, the patient is in respiratory distress, respiration rate is 22, does have a fever, is tachypneic. Um, he also um, is very weak, um, lethargic appearing, um, difficulty breathing, um, and there is some mild weakness there. 
Um, upon these results, I would bring this forward to the physician um, just to get a better assessment. Um, I would assume that this patient, my nursing diagnosis would be meningitis. Um, my nursing interventions would be one to uh, follow my ABCs and apply oxygen onto the patient to decrease respiratory distress and increase um, comfort in the patient's breathing and ability to breathe. I would also address the patient's pain. So I would go through the chart, see if there's any analgesics um, that are ordered other than Tylenol. I would use the Tylenol to bring down the fever rather than uh, use it for pain. And then if not, I would seek an order from the physician. Uh, the tests that I would assume the, pa the physician would order would be labs, uh, so blood work, CBC, Chem6, VBG, lactate, also blood cultures times two. And in terms of imaging, I would expect them to order a chest x-ray and or a chest CT. Another test that they could order is a spinal tap, as this is quite invasive. This would be last resort, uh, pending all the other results coming back. So Adam, do you have any other questions for me? No. Perfect. So I will get the doctor and he will come speak to you. Perfect. He or she Thank will you. come speak to you. Thank you. No problem.